Bradley Juby TV proudly presents. It's football time in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. The Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. Home of the seven time national champions. The most epic and brutal team in college football. The one and only Oklahoma Sooners. There's only one Oklahoma. How's it going, Jubitarians and Sooner football fans? This is Bradley Juby. Well, and the Sooners are going to the... Orange Bowl, Miami, Florida. And guess who we're facing? That's right. We're facing the Alabama Crimson Tide. <sighs> yep. We're facing those Alabama Crimson Tide, better known as the Gumps. That's uh, their nickname on uh, in the trash-talking circles. But uh, Now, if I remember correctly, five years ago... In the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, the Oklahoma Sooners faced the Alabama Crimson Tide in what seemed to be a meaningless bowl game, at least according to Alabama fans. They were favored by two touchdowns, but it was Oklahoma who won by two touchdowns. And, by the way, with a... Hmm, Somewhat okay quarterback who had, uh, really the only good game of his career. But, five years later, we have a far superior quarterback, a far superior offense. Uh, wouldn't say the same about the defense, though, unless Ruffin McNeil dials something up. But he's capable of doing something, as we saw in that Texas game. In the Big 12 Championship, but... I can't wait till December 29th. At probably 3 p.m. on ESPN. Of course, they've got the Tide as the 14-point favorite. And for this next month, you're probably going to hear ESPN blather on and blather on and blather on saying... The SEC is the greatest conference in college football history. Nobody could beat them. These Oklahoma Sooners, they don't belong in the college football playoff. Ohio State should have gotten in over them. Blah, 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 blah. We all know that Oklahoma, bad defense and all, was more deserving of the college football playoff than Ohio State and Georgia. The reason why? Well, for one, Georgia is a two-loss team that did not win their conference. And uh, Ohio State got spanked by Purdue and did not win every game on their schedule. Oklahoma, on the other hand, lost by three to Texas in the Cotton Bowl, but avenged that loss by 12 points in the Big 12 championship game, thus having beaten every team on their schedule. So, ding! Need I say more? Need I say more, ladies and gentlemen? Now, don't get me wrong. Alabama is a strong football team. They have been the dynasty of the 2010s. Well, actually, going back to 2009 really. But nonetheless, they have dominated the past decade. All right. Year in and year out, Nick Saban produces a good product. I'll give him that. Now, in the words of the immortal Ric Flair, to be the man, you got to beat the man. Well, in this case, to be the team, which is what OU wants to be, They've got to beat the team. And Alabama is the team. They have been a consistent winner year in and year out. 
Doesn't mean they win the national championship every year, but they've won it more times than not. Five titles in ten years? That's an accomplishment. And I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not being a smart butt. I'm giving props where props is due. However, Alabama, however, you don't have a good record of beating OU. You've only beaten OU one time. So, if you want to go back to the national championship game, you are going to have to take out OU in Miami. In a game where we have had history. That's right, history. Yeah, we've had some disappointing Orange Bulls over the past few years, but we've had legendary ones too. In fact, some of those, we were an underdog. Like, mm, 1985-1986, we were the underdog against Penn State, and we blew them out. Boz dominated them, the Sooners dominated them, and they won the 85 championship. 2000, Florida State was the team to beat. One of the teams to beat back in the 90s. Along with Florida and Nebraska. And uh, they were the defending national champions. But what did OU do? They played defense back when they could play defense. And they held them to a safety. So for similar... Results in this game, it's quite possible. I'll get to a prediction later, but uh, now I'm not going to call this a hate month or a hate week because I really don't hate Bama. I mean, I get annoyed by Bama because they win year in, year out, but I'm just going to tell you, Bama fans, get ready for a fight. All right? I hope Tua gets healthy again. I know he was banged up in the Big 12, in the, not Big 12, SEC championship game. But, I hope he gets better. Okay, quick prediction. Despite being a 14-point underdog, I will say OU 45, Bama 42. It's going to be that kind of game. Now, before I conclude this vlog... I will have a Heisman vlog if Kyler Murray does win the Heisman. But until then, this is Bradley Juvie saying, Boomer Sooner, we want Bama. We want Bama. We want Bama. This has been the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog, a presentation of Bradley Juvie TV. Boomer Sooner!